Okay, so my guard is all set up, ready to go. Now I just grab the rope, stand up in my prusik, and I freed up all this rope to tie my guard with. To tie the guard, I take the rope, clip it through both, come back around in the same direction I'm going, and clip it into the load rope, the rope that's right next to the load strand, which is the one going up to the bottom top of the crevasse. Clip those in, and then I have to pull on the load rope to simulate me hanging from it. Now, okay, let's cut. So you take your rope, you clip it through both carabiners, keep coming around in the same direction as if it's going in a loop, and clip it through the load strand, or just the load carabiner, excuse me, that's the one that's right next to the rope going up. Pull on that rope, the load rope, and your munter hitch should look like this. Not your munter hitch, your garter hitch should look like this. If it looks like this, it's no good, because watch what happens when you pull. It just opens, it opens the gate up there in the carabiner and can, it can unclip itself. So notice again, if the, if the garter hitch looks like this, you need to fix it. You need to get it oriented so that this strand is over here and this one pulls up. And how the garter works is these two carabiners are getting squeezed together by this rope here and that pinches this rope here and it makes it a self-locking knot. It's a real, I think it's a really dicey thing though because it moves around a lot. You can get in situations like this where it comes like this and cannot clip itself and then you just have one big loop. So it's definitely Definitely this is, needs to be used with caution, no question about it. Okay, I'm hanging on the garda. I put all the weight on the harness, push the prusik up, move my foot up as I do so, stand up the net, and pull the rope through the garda. Transfer the weight onto the garda all the time. I like to look at the carabiners when I do that to make sure the knot's working properly. That's because I'm a nervous kind of fella. Move the prusik up, stand up, pull the garda. This is a really fast way to do it because it's easier. Oh, oh, my helmet. Where's my helmet? Oh, oh, I should be wearing a helmet. Oh, stupid. <sighs> okay, back to work. So you push up, stand up. Pull the rope through and wait right away. This is really fast. And this is where a, a little micro sender or some kind of device that's a little more secure than a garter but works pretty similar is really handy. What really works well here is a grigri, but grigri's cute, they, they weigh a lot, and uh, you'd be hard pressed to find me with a grigri out on a glacier somewhere just because the extra weight, as wonderful as they are in a rock climbing, sport climbing setting, they're a lot to carry in the mountains.